Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master propaganda hero, psych defender of the fatherland, off you to everything amazing, one me, one, on Bokash, in North, this fun Ivan, fighting for America, freedom, democracy, corporate interests, here with Mechanized Company featuring Mechanized Groups, the 76 of Sherman, Mortar Half Tracks, Cavalry Rifleman and Combined Arms in the South, it is Macross fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the 21st Panzer Schoen here with Mechanized, featuring Command Tanks, 250 half tracks, Vehicle Critical Repair, Spotting Scopes, and of course the Leiter Feldhalbitzer Act 10 Artillery. We got a Grenadier MD4 2 start versus a Rifleman, as always, a big hearty thanks to my page supporters without their support. This Episode and basically the propaganda cast will be possible. So big thanks to all those other people enjoying the makes for Patreon page on themselves. All they can consider doing a one-time donation via PayPal, but also help me out a bunch. And finally, commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing helps me out a bunch as well. There's a drums up attention from the YouTube algorithms, making it more interesting and sharing the video with people. So do consider doing that. But anyways, we're off to the races here for now. And they're smoothly setting out there with a double rough start. Then Rieschlands sweeping up the front line here. A little bit points next to his base. Meanwhile, Macross here with a spread out start. Pioneers staying close to the MD42. That way, they can quickly move into spot for the MD42 in the west. The Grenadiers are sent in on a mission of their own for Deutschland. Second Grenadiers caught there for Macross. So far, though, fairly standard openings here. Fairly standard. Mechanized company is starting to become at least a bit more popular with some American players as of late. It can be a fun commander in the right hands for sure, so I don't blame them for that. Well, we got two spring 14, Gagan Gundis here. Second Gundis scored almost on there for Macross. We'll have to see what Fon Ivan follows up with next. Possibly a Dodge truck. Pay me a fast lieutenant, early mortars. We'll have to see, I'm guessing it's going to be like a fast lieutenant here. Pass, possibly a fast captain. There you go. Fast lieutenant here for Fon Ivan. East side, we've got Ralph coming up there for Fon Ivan. The west side there, skirmishing continues as Macross Gundis seek cover inside the small house there. Second Gundis got ranked to assist here. F out flanking the Yankees there. They're going to have to take cover behind a dead cow. Which is perhaps not the most enticing place to be hiding cover behind. Machine moving towards the west here, leaving the fuel pond there possibly open here to push there by Fenivan. Then again, with Fenivan, you know, again going for the tent, he doesn't have as many forces to immediately commit to such a push there. So that actually works out there for Macross. And there going the west, Ralph Squad push back. We do have the Rieschlund, but they're now absolutely spectacularly outgunned here by Macross. And the 21st Panzer is shown, 5th Panzer Grenadier Company. Meanwhile, the Fenivan is making a dive straight for the fuel pond as Macross. Has left it wide open, but of course, in return, his viewpoint is also wide open. The turn is right about ready here in the corner for Von Eyman. Just needs to grab a pack of smokes and a newspaper and a cup of coffee. The turn, the, I'll take up there for Macross. Thumbs up for that. And now he's going to swing up behind the rough squad here, quickly pushing him back, maybe trying to set up potential wipe here, like he could maybe lay up some S mine, see in which case he could theoretically wipe the rough squad on retreat if it's sufficiently big. But there you go. Fanaman sensing something's up there quickly on the rough squad as soon as he sees the Germans. Sharp reaction there by Fanaman. 50 on the way. There we got sandbags up here. That's definitely not S mines. And there you go, straight for the car front first. Thumbs up there to Macross. Lieutenant on the move there in the south here. We got the M42 there. And they're going to use tangling him with Van Ivan's riflemen as they find their best way to deal with those goddamn crowds. Fifth call almost done there. I imagine we're seeing a steward attempt here for Van Ivan next. Though he could have caught surprises with something else, like a fast M20 here. This was there being caught in a sandwich of death here. The pioneers themselves are also being sandwiched up close. So a lot of sandwiching here. And there goes. As soon as he turns the attention there, he allows the other rifle to retreat. Increasing the chance of getting a wipe. And there go got the wipe. Quite a blow there to Macross in the early game. Quite the blow. And he responds by going for the 250 half track. Macross truly living up to the mechanized company name and actually goes for the half track. Two thumbs up. Starting to get slightly more popular actually for Vermont players who go for mechanized and actually go for the 250 half track, which is honestly quite exciting. Got the cavalry rifle scored out here for Fenaiman, adding some assault in from there with the grease guns and crucially the Thompsons. West Tick on his being tapped with Lieutenant, of course, the fifth girl here, catching them in a potentially dead crossfire. Though, of course, Macross could turn the tide here with a 250 half tech rush, maybe clearing out the fifth girl and turning it to German service. Pioneer following up here for Macross, but I would like to shoot some Panzerwagen right around the corner for Macross and for Deutschland. Turning being caught by the Grenadiers. We got 498 versus 466, and there you go. 250 half tech rushing out here. Usually, 250 half tech was part of the Panzer Divisions of Klerungs of Thailand. That usually be two of them per squad, so they were basically meant to be smaller and thus a bit harder to detect for the enemy. 
So they basically suck right on separate half tanks there. Fun fact. We're crushing through the training cat and see about the center victory point. With its machine gun then tearing into them with well placed machine gun fire there. Forcing Fanon there to retreat them before they get turned into lunch meat. Rouse quite moving up the Fanon looks like to go and flank the fifth caliber the grenades named for two. And there you go, rifle grenade here, fifth half tick arriving. Probably won't be able to get a wipe there since there's no troops in it to really deliver that damage. He needs to finish it off there, but certainly could be a reminder for Fanon, you know, he needs to watch out. Far East, the Fanon lost showing here to Macros. He needs to watch out as he goes for a deep flank. And striking straight at the fuel point here, outmaneuvering here for Macros, leaving him confused, confuddled, and possibly discombobulated. But there you go, Macros is ready to turn up the heat here, popping in the Pioneers inside the half track with a flamethrower. Going straight for the Ralph's Court here, charging in for Deutschland and forcing a retreat here. Fanami knows resistance is futile in the face of this mechanized menace. But he is going for the Stuart Lighting himself, ready to turn the table here in the goddamn crowds for democracy. Meanwhile, Southern Fuel being lost here to Fanami. Looks like he will rush in the half track to deal with that. Rearson's right here as well, just by happenstance. Another Pioneer squad here for Macross and for Deutschland, and no Panzer gonna deal that. Go check for the Rouse Court here, engaging at a safe distance. Obviously, concerned about anti tank rifle grenades, but there you go, since them packing. Just need to deal with the cavalry from here. We definitely need more cavalry due to their anti vehicle satchel charge. But there's a potentially some check room for shenanigans there, though. Stuart, those right around the corner, troops here need reinforcement, and Cruz the Alter in some cases healing. Hey, Sarge! I I think I'm a bit more rent than usual. Uh well I'm not a biologist, but that looks bad. Ambulance in the weather for Van Ivan. Stuart sitting out there. Flanking up behind by the Cab Rifle Squad. Grabbing the Eastern Victory Point there. And there you go, Ralph grenade off against the Cab Rifleman. Going thick for the gun to use, Panda Fast off here. Damage engine. Pushing that in the open, going being murdered here. And burning through them pretty rapidly. Murdering here, could see a wipe in for now, and that's going to be great there for Macross, and certainly quite painful there for now, but no, falls a bit short here, possibly to the suit. He's not willing to commit the half track for, quite frankly, under sound reasons. But still, thanks to the half track here, Macross has been able to swing the game significantly in his favor here for now, and really just getting strong macro here. Thanks to that like to shoot some Panzerwagen versus Van Even. Troops heading out there. We've got Glenys with Rafa Squad and Lieutenant here. Definitely a problem there for Macross. No Glenys upgraded yet here. We got Pioneers there busy with a Telamine. Die Telamine. Sehr gut. Stuart then need repairs back here. Nothing further transpiring there for Macross. He does have the pack 40 to help deal with the Stuart Light Tank. Up north here, Glenys Rad. We do have the info to on the car point. They're stalling and stopping for now. It's to get back the car point there. And by extension, getting the fuel point hooked up. But there you go. Fifth guy around the flank here. No grenades. I can't say deploy smoke here. Lieutenant could flank in. But there you go. The half track covers the flank there. Buying Macros here. A bit more time here. But I think they're limited to how much longer he can contain this position, I think, without further reinforcements. The question is, how much longer? That set with Riley needs to. Does help a bunch there. Turn up with the bazooka there, Stuart is good to go once more here for Fanarin in the center of the race is moving up here. Gun is packed for the catch in the east here, fuel pump being seized back by Macross and the 21st Panther Vision. But there you go, Stuart on the flank here, racing right past the MU42, going for the half track, the bigger target that can't retreat easily with the press of a button and get received action. But there you go, Pack 40 arrives in the scene here, may just alive here Macross to save the 250 half track, and yes, he narrowly does. Phew, this match is seeing a lot of swing back and forth here already. Glennie's going straight for the Asians here around the center. Back at base there. We do have the weapon racks on the way there. Probably some bars. Maybe bazooka here for Fanam. We'll have to see. But I'm expecting bars for sure. The weapon rack is now, open. now we go. Weapon racks open. Immediately equipping the cavalry rifle on the top of the Thompsons. And Grease Guns with a BAR. And giving the Rafter Court there as well a BAR as well. Eastern Pompey seems with the Rafter Court here. Back at Macross's base. Medics on the way there. Half trick was seeing some heavily needed repairs. It's taken quite a bit of damage. Pack 40 gun is rolling up here. West side being seized there by Von Ivan. Another fifth card to help deal with the German infantry and the 250 half track, which I imagine he's starting to identify as a bit of a pain in the posterior. Gunners with the bounce rough toward there. Charging in. Up close to eliminating Gunther. 
We've got Rathcourt going for the Gunvisi in the east. We've got the Pioneers pushing back Rathcourt. MD4 to the right for squad, 50 kill almost done. And there you go, charging straight here at it. Oh dear, oh god, Tim Himmel, and he loses the half tech, but takes out the steward, and the process actually gets abandoned. I'd say that's a pretty good trade off there for Macross. Certainly not for Von Ivan, though. That was quite the slap across the face there against him and America. That was quite a series of explosions there. Westfield put the mix east. There's Van Iman pushes men forward there, exerting them to greater glories for democracy. Troops setting out there for a fresh push. More bars, I imagine, soon being handed out here for Van Ivan. We'll have to see for a lot of next, but I think with the current race situation, I would not be surprised if the captain for some anti tank guns. Macros here, I think, definitely within the situation, can start pushing for tanks soon versus Van Ivan at this rate. Could even like rush out a command tank, and I think for now, I'm definitely have a hard time with that. East side, you've got the Graf Squad moving up, Lieutenant backing up, of course, the 5th Cal, backing it all up with its 50 caliber rounds. From the base, two fresh courts there for Fanavan, well rested, healed up, and gunned up. 5th coming up on the west side here. Steady. And a bit quiet here now, as no real engagement happening here. Fanavan is just gobbling up as much terrain as he can. And there we go on the west, we got the essence here. There's the Gundis, of course, 5th cal there could turn the round very quickly. And there we go, catch the Gundis, suppressing the entire lot within seconds. Forcing Macros to retreat them back for safety. East side there, push for the point, but there you go. Macros is ready for this move with his MG42. Catching the turn here and quickly suppressing, in fact, in the water. That's definitely going to be a mouthful of some pretty brackish stuff. Back here, nothing further transpiring there for Van Ivan. Bit of quiet here. It's a Palmer crop there for Macross and the 21st Panzer de Sean. Thumbs up. Machine gun moving in here for Macross. Gun is engaging as well here. Van Ivan, I think that's going to need to break off here. We do get a mortar though for Van Ivan. Very good idea here. I always think mortars can be a fairly good addition on any map. There you go. Macross is pushing for an Ostwind rush here. Again, he could arguably go for command tank. I think that gave him a bit more utility because you know it's pretty good as an infantry one fact might be in some cases better than the Austrian but also it provides bonuses for other troops as well they're plus can deploy smoke so in that regard I think the command tank you know rushing that would be a bit of a better choice here for Macross personally but that said under the current circumstances with the advantage he gained in part thanks to the half track going for an Austrian rush is not a bad idea at all here for Von Ivan not of Macross I mean it is a bad thing for Von Ivan but for Macros, not a bad deal. That set losing the pack 40 here to Macros is pretty bad. And that was actually really well extruded talk to people for an Ivan. Displaying here again the power of aggressive infantry who's almost got the MD42 as well. They think wipe that's gonna be huge there for Van Ivan. No, got him him. What luck, but he still sees the pack 40 here. Leaving Macros Austrian Rush slightly less powerful and crucially meaning if Van Ivan gets out armor, Macros will be slightly less able to defend against that. But do get a pants on this court there. Thumbs up to that. Center being seized by the Pioneers. 21st Panzer Sean launching his men for vets for Deutschland. Pack 40 there is a great haul for Van Ivan. Car pumping in again. Really good disruptive play for both sides again. They're definitely looking to like ensure the other side doesn't get too much fuel here. And also looking to move there. Go more to court here. Ospen rushing in. Panthers got almost done here. Fifth car there. Second is being rough grenade first here. It is utter chaos here as Macros goes for all the soft bits here. Avoiding Van Ivan's frontline units in several cases. A devious maneuver here but Macros. He's clearly having a significant impact on Van Ivan and the third armor division. Chaos ensues. He's trying to catch up with the pack forward here. More to the gut wiped up. Leerson's in trouble there. Lieutenant doing when he canvas the gun. He's out in the open. He's having a hard time here. And we got Rav's court charging in there. Pack 40's on the move. Cav rifle moving in here. Gun leads up close. I'm being mauled. But the Ospen turns the table here on Phenomenon's men. Pack 40 there is ready. Could pop an anti tank rifle grenade here. Oh, it misses. Hits the bloody ground. The absolute rotten luck. And he also almost got the gun leaders in that. Panthers around here, further causing chaos. It's absolute anarchy here. And there you go. Panthers being mauled by the cow rifle and backed up with the Thompsons in the barn. They are just able to do that. More losses here, though, for Van Ivan. But he is definitely hurting here, his opponent back. And we got Lieutenant who is dead. A heroic last stand in the middle of the road. It's also a slightly dumb last stand. But that's, you know, for Hollywood to dress up. Featuring Tom Hanks.
Austin falling back here. Trip reinforcing healing here for Macross. Love to see what follows up with the next here. Flak Panther need repairs. Phenomen is going for the major. He is not slowing down for tanks. He wants tanks fast. Plus, he's still, despite all of this, managed to control both fuel points here now for a bit of while. There's, I mean, good work there for Phenomen. Really keeping a cool head here, and otherwise, I'd say fairly uh, violent circumstances. Panther sitting out there once more. We'll have to see what Macross follows up with the next. Flak Panther being repaired here on the eastern fuel point. We got 421 stone 88. Running up here with support weapons. Pack. Troops heading westwards. May of course want to grab back that BAR before Macross and the German army does it. Close again on the Sherman. Of course, he could also try and go for the 76 mm Sherman first. We shall of course see which of these two events Fun Iron is aiming for. In the southeast, machine gun push back here and Fun Iron lining up for another deep flank. Cab rifle ready, though of course they may find a bit of surprise waiting for them this time around. There you go, Gunny's on the west side here with the light machine, caught it with the raft squad, and of course the 50 cal. That could be a very swift retreat here for Macros Grenadiers. So the Tombstones is running with some amount of cow, but even that can only provide you so much. And there you go, Panzer's in the flank here, catching for Nyman's forces here in a bit of a tough spot, forcing a retreat on the machine gun, war troop pulling in there. And we got the BAR, the Grenadiers could seize and turn against the armies. In the southeast, their pioneers push back, fuel point is open again. Really liking the flanking of Fanami's doing in the southeast there very consistently. Thumbs up to that. Thumbs up. Rav's got the pursuit of the Osprey. Also got the Panzer. There's a good chance of another wipe here. Well, that was a very optimistic bundle grenade there by Macross. But that's another wipe in for Ivan. Another bar dropped at that, too. Quite some losses there. Quite some losses. Great for Macross, but definitely a bit painful for Fernando again. He can soon go for the Sherman. In fact, it looks like he's aiming for the 76mm Sherman rather than the 75mm Sherman. Pack there is the Ospin. Good shot there for the rearmor. Then he's catching the being caught here with the fifth cow. Ospin pushed back down to half health. Fanaman can now go for the no, can now go for the Simpson does so immediately. Thumbs up. He should also call in more infantry here versus Macross. The faster the better, I'd say. He up north fuel pumping seas, but the Panzer is now equipped with the BAR. Bazooka team there ready to pop holes in German tanks. Got the 50 in line of fire, the Panzer is there. Rushing in first, I think that's a very wise decision. Also getting to heavy cover, the 50 is not going to win that. It's like in no cover versus eight Panzer squad. They even, with that said, they do have to manage to get suppressed, but then they almost got a wipe. In fact, they might still be able to wipe unless they get pinned down here. An Another wipe in for Nyman. Really punishing loss. In fact, he's got no infantry scores left except the cavalry rifle squad there. For Nyman desperately needs to replace those here. Versus Macross, who still has a total of four, and which one of which is a Panzer Grenadier scored with a BAR. There you go. Sherman out there for Phenomen. That will be a significant threat here to both Macross's infantry and his armor there. If you can flank the Phantom Tank, it's also going to be a threat to that, though. Mortifying the Indy 2 Sherman rolling head here. And he's going to be caught here by the Simpson for Sherman and his gun. There we go. Good shot. North, he got the Major being flanked by the Panzer Grenadier. And we got the 50 wiped out here by Macross, the term Grenadiers. In the south, we got the Carabin flanked up here with the Thompson, the Bars, and the Grease guns. Utterly hosing here. Macross's infantry. Can he get a wipe this time around? Almost got the other Grenadier scores over once, but it does look like he. That Macross has a fair amount of luck there. In fact, Fanaman may just lose his last infantry squad. He lost the major. The infantry losses for Fanaman are intense. He is absolutely, I think, may want to start looking into some more infants. There you go. Going for Rifleman, but he has been suffering some humongous infant losses versus Macross right now. That is going to be rather tough to bounce back from, but he is the Americans, which as a faction generally has some of the better bounce back elements to them. So it's certainly not impossible. Had it say been Macros who's lost all, almost all of his infantry in this situation, I would say the chance of him recovering would have been significantly much harder. That's not to say it's going to be hard, easy for Fanabin, but in its shall say difficulty slider of like, you know, how tough is this? There's certainly a bit of a difference between the two. But there you go. Right now, there were some bars. He's going to still need more infantry and, of course, crucially, more tanks. Pantafall right about the corner here for Macros and the 21st Panzer to be shown, which really only had Pantafalls as... It didn't have a Panther Battalion by the time the fighting in Normandy began. It was that or converted French 
tanks into assault guns and self-propelled artillery actually fun fact there Cab rifle caught the gun in the DC 2 plus an MD4 2 force me to treat them for Niven's men. Salmon doing fixed up in the center. West side got the multiple base there for Niven. Panda for the move there for Deutschland. Straight into the pack 40 here. And of course, the other Shem. also got the Pachuca team ready. Could cost Macros here's Panda for there. Go down to half elf. For Niven sensing blood. They sense the Shem ahead here. He's on the prowl. Pack 4 in the flank here. The up gets a good hit, but still won't be enough. No, oh, doesn't even get a hit. Panda Fort survives for a bit here. Bazooka Team Pack 40 versus the Ospin. One more shot. One more shot. Got the Panda Fort Fat Green Fent to flank up behind here. They are mind stunned from Macros. Thumbs up to that. Ospin though, stunned. Pack 40 in the Sherman here. And the Sherman looks like it's going to play right around the Pack 40 here. Gets the Ospin. Macros is now dies. So get rid of the Pack 40 as well here and avoid the Telemine. That could be some very deep sauerkraut. Macro's going to find himself very rapidly. There you go. Grenadiers. Pack crew being mauled here, but the Sherman not close. Pat damage engine with the Panther first here, but not enough to stop the Sherman. Not at this range. Trying to get the pack out of there. Troops heading out there. Troops reinforcing healing. For now, still desperately needs more troops here. Needs more infantry there. Go wipe the pack crew. Cab Robin dashing in there. Granity is being pushed back here. Could deploy smoke on the enemy for two to save the troops. They destroying the pack right in front of Macross as he helplessly stares in horror. My God, what is he doing to that Panzer out there? Can only I can't watch Ludwig. It's too horrible. See, it's heartless from cool Americans. Up north here, Granny's in trouble. The squad for the bars and planks doing some heavy damage by the veterans of the Granny's. No. Course ultimately retreat machine gun pushed back here. For now, just one hell of a swing there has put himself back into the match from an otherwise rough position, just showing the power of aggression and crucially dotting your opponent's telemines. Scott on the way there for now, he still needs more infantry, he needs more troops to just grab points, but you know, he's getting in there, going straight for the fuel point there. As for Macros, we'll see who goes for next, probably more Panther Fours. Command tank, I think, will be a decent addition. Grand points here and there, fixing up the tanks. More crews on the move here. But he also really badly needs more infantry. I would recommend some more cavalry rifle with the Thompsons. But anyways, we'll have to see there. Destroying the sandbags with the pack 40. Then this is the cavalry rifle. Nice Sherman is really good to go here. Hard work there from Phenomen's men to fix it up. Need to assist there. Sherman to wreck the sandbags. Got veterans 113 kills on it. has got almost done. Plus another rifle squad here for Phenomen and the third. Armored Division. Smackross here going for the mighty Sturm. Geschütz 3. Also again response here to the Sherman here arriving to bully his men and his panzers. Just got the move there. Rav got there almost done. Stuck sent in from nearby 352nd Infantry Division or perhaps a stray tank destroyer unit or assault gun battalion. Going to try to straight the Sherman here. Close to Vetsni 2. Panther Pass off there. Sniping poor Otto. But the Sherman's Hobbs knocked up. It's also very close to Vetsni 2 here still. He could lose it here. 50 cal though. Could perhaps prevent this. Pack also being hauled back. Scott on the move here. Ish. 50 cal by the way. Abandoned the center then. Seized by neither player. Ooh, that's a bit of a slip there for Fanai. And looks like he forgot about all the excitement. That could be a big haul there for Macros, honestly. Really big. 50 cal sending overwhelmed here. Shem keeps falling away there. Pack all trying to go. It's looking a bit rough here. Granny's trying to at the squad here. Cavalry right from the gun rifle squad. Tang into them here. We could see some heavy losses from Macross. Got very lucky on that one. Pack, they're in trouble. We got the Stuke rolling in here. Macross is on the prowl for Shermans. Cavalry right from in there. Shem trying to get Bazooka team into block here. Pack going to this. Cavalry right from all fighting out. Then we do get a sense of charge on the Stuke. Macross there. Overlooked something there. And heavy damage. Even killing a machine gun gunner nearby. The pack, though, has been abandoned here by Phenomen's men and Macros makes a daring high here with the Panthers to reclaim it for Deutschland. Pack opening up the Scott here, but misses. Sherman being repaired up here. Troop reinforcing healing. Western Point being seized here by Phenomen, even as Macros is committing everything he can into a major scale assault here in the East that at least got the Pack 40 back. Scott there ready to move forward once more for freedom and democracy here. Sherman is also good to go there again. 14 kills of Vetsensi 2. As for Macros, we'll see who goes for next. Machine and they're a bit exposed. Quick at hand by the Sherman or the Scott. Though again, so far, now they're quite within position. That's just about to change anything. More Tolta nearby. 
good hit there. I think they're more aggressive with also the Sherman, maybe the Scott. I think got a chance of the wiping, in which case they've been great. Still not grabbing that fifth card, though, is a bit surprising you from my perspective. You'd think if Phenomenon want more fifth cards here versus Macros' infantry. I've got all three to one's control here for now. versus Macros grabbing these in the field point. He's Sherman at the ready here. And he got the MU42, and he actually grabs that. All right. That said, it may not work out. The gun is, of course, also got the Panther. There goes Bazooka team here with the Sherman going for the Stook here. Matt Cross was not ready for that, and neither was I. And the Stook is kaput. A bird radio for now, completely blindsiding Matt Cross. Punishing him, not having the Stook in a slightly, you know, more screen position, so for now, couldn't just, you know, well, basically bum rush it with bazookas and a tank. It's a good kill there for now. Bring in another Scott here. More self propeller today versus Macros' infantry. Macros' situation is definitely getting more and more uncomfortable as for now. This really sounds just to deliver some of those heavier punches right to the gut of Macros and the German army. Scott fires, misses, fifth company on the Panzer on the Dira. Still hasn't grabbed that one, by the way. Panther being suppressed and pinned. It's got opening up there. Decent bit of hit there. Damage of troops reinforcing healing. Sherman being fixed up. Western Mission Seas. Then we got a Grenadier Squad trying to get it back for Deutschland. Cutting down there. Joey Bob with a well placed set of light machine guns fire. Then he's bringing up Graham, that fifth car there. If Fanama doesn't want it, then Macross clearly wants it. And he's going for an Ostwind. Ha! That's a bold choice. Continuous front's got a Sherman out there, but. I suppose Macross plan is just to basically kill Phenomen's infantry and exploit Phenomen's slightly at times shaky unit infantry preservation. And that will win the game. I mean, that's an interesting strategic choice there by Macross, but versus Phenomen could actually work out. 50 cal versus the MD42, just not what you'd expect the machine guns to uh, belong. Osman almost down there for Macross. Scotland Rush was there. Grab the Eastern Point. Fifth come in the center. Bazooka team on the move as well. There you go. Flak pans out. Sherman there. Moving up the west side of the Ralph squad. Nothing further going on here for Van Ivan. Moving ahead to the Austin Gunny as well in game the Ralph squad. Oh, and a mine completely wipes one of Phenomen's infantry scores. He was not ready for that. Great kill. And the center pan's been caught here by the MG42. Push back here. Phenomen allows no trespasses. Eastern filming sees there by Mac of Phenomen as well. The Ralph squad caught with the Austin Gunny. So we've got the two packs ready here. Meaning to bait in the Sherman into a pack zone here, perhaps. Ralph's caught there, number two, almost swapped as well here by Macross. But this time, Phenomen needs to avoid some wipe there. Still, Phenomen once more short and infamous. Macros trying to get that Ostwind here. But the packs here, even with the smoke, could be a potential massive threat here to Phenomen Sherman. He there, I think, judiciously pulls back the Sherman rather than overcommit and risk losing the Sherman here to the Germans. In the South sees the point because the Ralph Squad. We got another Pioneer Squad here for Macross to help prepare his armor. Excellent addition there. Scott, the ready hand reserve here for Phenomen. Like, what not? What he could do right now is actually launch out a flank assault behind here. Macross get up behind some of the soft units, then murder them that way. I mean, you kind of sort of saw how that worked out well the other way around here in the eastern side of the map. So there's potentially an opening here for Phenomen to maybe like just straight up close out of the match on Macross. But it does require the actually does commit to it. So whether or not he does it, of course, is the big question. So far, signs seem to indicate no. But who knows, he can always surprise us. Insane hit from the Scott here. Ralph's going up the center here. Nope. Oh, we do have grenades now from Fano. There you go. Straight in the double packs here. A massive surprise for Fano. Max wasn't expecting that. Almost got both packs wiped. There you go. One pack crew down. Osman, though, to the rescue. Narrowly saving and wiping another Fano's infantry squads. Again, the strategy of it is, in fact, to wipe Fano's infantry squads. It's so far playing out big time here for him. And there we go. We can see what in front of Macross got his. Finally got a wipe there. Losses on both sides remain fairly intense, fairly heavy. Sherman racing ahead, going for the Ospin. Other pack fought it there. In a rough state there. Bazooka teams dropping their bazookas out for the Wonders. Pioneers dashing right at the Sherman. Almost getting wiped in the process now. 
226. This match is absolutely just intense. Flag Panzer in dying need to repair. It's Panzer going to be pushing forwards. Macross could do with more infantry, but also more armor. Meanwhile, we got found with another Sherman. I mean, more tanks is also, I think, proof near for Naman, though. Again, he needs more infantry. He's down to just the cavalry riflemen again. The 25 what kills, so that's pretty impressive. Nothing further going on in Macross base. He's definitely struggling with fuel compared to Van Ivan. Second Sherman there, halfway done. Got the infantry, support weapons, and the Scott here at the ready round. The center of the south, we got the Pacific Cal sitting up here. And another Panzer Squad there for Macross. Two thumbs up. I could see him sort of like in a service a bit of concerning actually going for Panzer effects just to add like more anti-tank weapons also to help counter some of Fanami's more aggressive armor assaults here the Panzer effects can make it much harder for Fanami to just dive in because with the pack can just you know be boom they can't really keep up but the Panzer effects just like you need to drive past them the guys just you know, instantly turn around and find the Panzer effects anyway so they're a lot harder to move around here so maybe that's what he's planning here we shall have to see, of course, I mean, just having two Panzer Squads regularly is also pretty good for Macros, but a part of me could see him going for, like, Panzer Strike C just to help fight back against Van Ayman's armor numbers. Van Ayman, though, still needs more infantry badly. And there we go, we do get the Panzer Strike, the Raketten Panzerbüchse. Smoke being deployed to cover up the assault here. Thumbs up for Van Ayman. nice use the smoke tactically. Looks like he's using a mortar to deploy the smoke there, yes, indeed. Southern part, a map being seized by Macros. It's a bit of a difference in like what they have. Like, Fnam's got plenty of armor, but barely an infantry. Macross has plenty of infantry, but barely any armor. There's definitely a bit of a difference there. Pick the race from the west here. Bring in the troops there. Panzer Jaegers, Austrian, Pax Pioneers, Canadians all moving up here in close, including the Panzer Grenadier, who are near ace level. Meine Herren. And of course, the Panzer Jaegers, they are Panzer Schusterer. They're there. Often were or stove pipes. Smoke being plotted in the west, allowing the Greece to grab the point. Less than 200 points left for Max, which is on the offense here, going straight ahead with the Austrian, backed up the Panzer the Gundies. We got Bazooka team or Panzer teams plus a sort of Bazooka team here from Macross. Maybe something to bait Phenomenon into a massive armament assault, in which case you could catch Phenomenon stuff and decimate it. And we get combined arms, we get combined arms from Fun Ivan, but still not a lot of infantry work. Still, he's charging in there. Could maybe deploy some smoke. He's going hard, and there you go. Panzer Trick Ping plus the Bazooka team. There you go. A massive push. Scott goes up first here. Almost got the Ospin over the Shen, which is ace level. Panzer Trick doing with the can. There you go. Ospin down. Packs are being just completely rendered useless. They're just being outmaneuvered, but the lack of infantry makes it harder here for Fun Ivan to inflict more heavy damage. And the Panzer Shrek's are ensuring that even the Pax Art Maneuvered, he still has something to quickly deal with the armor in a fast reactor manner. In fact, he could take out the pa Sherman here with a mix of Bazooka Fire and Panzer Shrek's. And he saved the Sherman, but the losses for Phenomenal have been absolutely staggering. He lost two Scots and a Sherman, plus his remaining infantry, just to take out like an Austin. And I think that was it, really. Maybe a pack crew. So in theory, nice lack of infantry made it much more difficult for this attack to succeed. Like here, that more infantry, I think this would have been much more effective. Plus, you should have popped some smoke as well there to further, like, you know, make it harder for Macros to fight in a coordinated manner, in particular with the Panzer Shrek. So definitely some room for improvement there for Phenomen, but, you know, looked really cool. And same results allowed us for a nice showcase here again, like, you know, some of the situations where Panzer Shreks could be handled because so they again, like, you know, they just raced right past the packs once, like the first one. It was over. The anti tank guns were not of much use in the engagement, as the Panzer Shreks and the Bazooka continue to be able to, like, much more useful assist in the fight because, again, they don't need to, like, you know, turn around on a spot there. They're not that heavy or cumbersome. So, thumbs up there to Macros, really showing off those Panzer Shreks. Now, the Rav Squad there for Van Ivan. And Tim appears now being caught with the fifth car first here. Even lost his mortar. Panzer for the raid for Macross and the 21st Panzer is Sean. Azuki team's on the mortar. Another large squad for Fun Ivan. Ace Sherman Valve is good to go here for freedom and democracy. That's definitely going to be dangerous here for any armor that Macross does have. Like the Panzer will definitely be significantly outgunned, of course. He does have the two packs here. Mortar wiped immediately. Good kill there by Macross. Got the Ace Sherman there. He may not be a Brat Pit. Maybe just an earnest Bork 9, but he'll get the job done. 
Pony's being fought here. Second shot misses the Panda Fort. Well, Scott Fire here showing it repairs badly again. Macros being secured the centre here for the 21st Panzer de Sean, securing the victory points on the west, but the sun one is being claimed here by Von Ivan and the third armoured. Popping up the Scott crew to assist with repairs here on a Sherman. Von Ivan definitely knowing where his priorities lies. Rob Scott here losing out to the East Gunners at long range. No surprise there. And destroying the mortar here. And the center machine sitting up here, but it's been caught by half the German army here. And Van Iman will have to retreat. And Bazooka Team Pro and 40 are back for off from the 50 cal. Scott Fang away there. Sherman there at the race from 19 kills, still ace level. Pioneers pushing forwards. And the front line is steadily collapsing now for Van Iman. Scott the Lancer, good hit there. Overtaking up the Pioneers. 50 cal unleashing hell here upon the Pantagon, suppressing them. But we got the packs of the move here. 50 cal though is still being mauled. And the Rascal on the south here is being caught with the Gundies. And another unit, I think. Or at least looked like it. 200 points left for Nine versus Macros 158. Carfon being seized here. Scott flying away. They're hoping to snuff out some craps. Sherman there. And we got another Scott for Van Iman. More self propelled artillery, which to tackle here. Macros. Meanwhile, Macros bring up another machine gun there. Another MG42. Wing forwards again without the Panzer. The MG42 looks like he is just reloading there. Close to 2 then there you go. Panzer is the losing poor Friedhelm. Here's Sherman there just waiting in reserve for the right time to strike. Right now, Macro's looking pretty well dug in. He's laying down more mines. He's expecting another dash here by Fenaman laying down telemines is gonna very well, I think, potentially shot there down. Not these something come to you see. Scott's there deploying smoke, thumbs up. Really wish he'd done that before that major attack in the south. I'm sure Macros, of course, very much wished he didn't. Machine gun the Scott moving up here. Pioneers pushing west was there. Sherman with cavalry right from there. All at the ready. Scott's are moving in as well. Pax gunners on the move here. Right in front of Von Ivan. Sherman taking it from the pack. Cavalry right from the moving up. The Panzer they're being backed up. He's the big Panther 4. Quick retreat though. In the east here, Ralph Scott being absolutely slaughtered by the gunners there. No chance of survival. In the West, Pioneers pushed back with the double Scots and their double 75 mm Howitzers. Back at base here for Macross. Nothing further transpiring except the Panzer because they're being reinforced. They have already been healed. Scots at the ready. Cal Rifle pushed from that Western Victor point. We got 158 versus 136. This match has really just spun around on itself several times now throughout this match. MG42 versus MG42, Bazooka teams there struggling to penetrate the Panda 4. The rockets is just all this fistling. Troops running out here. Phenomenon definitely needs more anti tank weapons, more tanks, but also more infantry. He's just constantly short, unlike everything except Germans to kill. West side, there, a bit of progress. Open up with the Panda 4. He's trying to catch, but they got the pack portals open and the Sherman return, punching through the armor there, causing some significant damage in these tier. Rob Scott versus the Ace Gun is Point blank range. The Rob Scott definitely has a chance being in the Ace Gun is there. Go grenade off. I forgot he researched them, and I would not be surprised if I'm free for what I forgot as well. Almost got the gun is, but in the end, the Rob Scott has to retreat due to the presence of a machine gun team there. More mines here from Macross. He definitely does not want to risk another head on Salt Deeper for Nyman. Particularly remember to smoke this time around. Without those mines, Macross could then be in some very deep shizer. Sherman is fixed up here. Cal Rapin is the Punier. Panther Fortress at the 5th Cal there. Scott's opening up the Panda 4. Sadly, not going to do much damage. Got the Sherman the Raid to flank here. They want to pour some smoke around here to ensure the Sherman can't easily have another pack 40s. Just a small fault there. East there, Pioneers with Batman in for two. Panzer gun these routed. And hit with the Sherman again. Cavalry off the route. We got 158, there's 100 points left here. Phenomenon is hanging on desperately here versus Macross. But the odds are looking increasingly bad here with every passing moment. That's another one, Phenomenon. The third armor division is taking some intense losses here. From Macross and the Twin Coast Panthers. There you go. Panzer Shrek's landing a perfect double hit there on the Sherman, almost taking out the tank. 
My god, did you see that you can Yavi both hit at the same time with the rockets? That's amazing! I don't think we'll get any medals, medals for it, but it looks really cool. Takes on the Panda 4, so I mean, right now, macros are looking very, very solid. I mean, theoretically, for now, because it'll pull off like some sort of major surprise assault that crashes macros, but I think at this point, there's just too many telemines, and also, macros is forced comp. Uh, positioning is going to think make that a bit more difficult to achieve this time around for for now and plus he just lacks the force i think to really gain enough momentum for that as well so there's only a few issues here for for now and still this has been a hell of a match here smoke being deployed in a very thick smoke screen here practically a fog there around the western victory point got those panthers in the move here again Scots are the ready, Sherman as well there. Bazooka team machine moving up, here we got the Scots moving up as well there, Sherman are ready, and there you go, combined arms again, two thumbs up. Looks like for now it's getting ready for the big push for freedom. There you go, Bazooka find the Panda 4, fails to penetrate. Scots find there the Panda 4, the property of the fighting the infantry behind cover here. Sadly, the assault is not quite transpiring here with much speed or success for Van Ivan. What the living has is basically all being mauled and pushed away, leaving the tanks with no infantry cover. And it's not like he has a lot of tanks anyways to push in with. So this is looking very, very grim. We do get another shot here for Van Ivan and the 3rd Armored Division as Matt Cross and the 21st Punisher and pushes it again there. Scott's bombarding. Sherman in the serve still. As soon as he got ace level there, and definitely got a lot more cautious with it. And there you go, Panzer is moving in. They're backed up with the Panda 4. They can even move faster here, which definitely helps you to keep up with the enemy tanks as well. Panda 4 gaining matches here with the Sherman. No Sherman away there. We got 158 versus 24 here. Panzer is in the move here, backing up the Panda 4. There we go, one rock hits the Sherman. Panzer is being hammered there. Got the other Panda 4 going for the Scots here. Cut pop into the building. I think engage the Scots with the Panzer Strikes instead. Okay, he doesn't pop into the building, just goes forwards there. That also works, I guess. And there you go, double hit on the Scott. Almost making up, make, taking it out there. You got 150 to 19. Heavy losses from the Scots, but even then, Fanaman is with his back against the wall here. Fresh German out there. Fourth Fanaman and the third armor division. But can Fanaman master the resource deliver a critical blow here to Macros? I think, again, the answer to that at this point is no. But I could be proven wrong here. But there you go. Sherman's about to get knocked at which point the answer is definitely no. Scott kaput here. Smoke deployed, but sadly too late here. And with that, the Sherman is down. The ace is out. And the second Scott goes up and flims wrong. That I think it's safe to say for now is completely dead. And there you go. Straight into Telemine. Right in front of the Panda 4. The Bazooka Pioneers. And of course the double packs. Panda as well here. Sherman combusts. And with that, for now, is out of the fight. An absolute intense fight here with some massive and insane attacks at times and exciting back and forth action so i hope you enjoyed this match i hope you learned something from it if you did subscribe like share comment and of course consider donating it via paypal or pledge on patreon would help me out a lot then like to keep doing what i do so support the effort if you can links in the description this is imperial links in tears thank you for watching until tomorrow again for another episode bye